ever noticed your phone's battery suddenly acting weird after a big software update? One day it's lasting easily through the night, and the next, it's gasping for life before dinner. Well, that's exactly what's happening right now with the Galaxy S24 Ultra after the official One UI 8 update. I've been testing this update on my own phone for the past week, and honestly, things are not looking good. There's something off, and it's not just a minor dip in battery life. So today, I'm breaking down my real-world battery stats from the last seven days, and trust me, some of these numbers will shock you. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. If you enjoy deep dives like this, make sure to like the video, share it with your fellow Galaxy users, and subscribe to stay updated with all the upcoming One UI 8 fixes and hidden changes. Now, let's get into the fun part. So, the update has been out for a while now, and many users have already jumped on board. But here's the twist. While the update brings new animations, smoother transitions, and a few AI tweaks, it also seems to have brought along an unexpected guest battery drain. And not just a little, I'm talking about a serious hit to real world endurance. Let me take you through my daily battery performance. On September 30th, I started tracking. I drained 84% of the battery and got around two hours and 56 minutes of screen. On time, let's round that up to three hours. Now three hours of screen time from 84% battery, that's brutal. For a phone like the S24 Ultra, it just doesn't make sense. On October 1st, I used 73% and got three hours and nine minutes of screen time. A tiny improvement, but still disappointing. It made me wonder, is this update secretly running something in the background that's eating power nonstop? Then came October 2nd. I used 90% of the battery and got just over five hours of screen time. That sounds okay at first, but hold on, most of that day, I was just scrolling through TikTok and browsing. No gaming, no editing, no GPS, nothing heavy. If you think about it, five hours of light use for nearly a full charge isn't exactly flagship performance. I've seen mid-range phones do better. The next few days confirmed my suspicion. On October 3rd, I used 36% of battery for one hour and 11 minutes of screen, on time. If you stretch that to 100%, it barely gives around four hours total, which again is unacceptable for a premium phone like this. October 4th was almost identical, 30% drained for a little over an hour of screen time. Then on October 5th, things got even worse. I lost 85% battery in exchange for just four hours and 34 minutes of use. That means even on a full charge, I'd barely hit five hours. That's half of what the S24 Ultra used to offer on One UI 7. And finally, October 6th, the day I almost gave up, I used just 29% of the battery and only got one hour and 35 minutes of screen time. Add that up and it paints a clear picture. This update has clearly messed up battery optimization. It's not just me either. Tons of users online have been posting screenshots of terrible standby times and random overnight drain. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. Some users say their phones are running perfectly fine. No heating, no drain, no lag. So this issue seems to be affecting specific units, which makes it even more mysterious. Could it be linked to certain app combinations or maybe specific chip batches? Nobody really knows yet, but one thing's for sure, there's something inconsistent about how One UI 8 behaves across devices. And if you've updated your S24, you might have noticed this too. The phone feels smoother, animations are cleaner, but the battery percentage just falls faster than you expect. You leave it on your desk for an hour and boom, it's already down by 5%. That shouldn't happen. Even stranger, I checked the power usage stats and found that apps like Samsung Cloud and Galaxy Store were running multiple times in the background without me even opening them. That might explain the constant drain, but then again, it's Samsung's own software. So why would it do that after a stability update? It's like the update fixed one thing and broke another. And the community forums are full of similar stories. One user said their phone lost its mobile signal completely right after updating, forcing them to replace their ESAM. Another mentioned overnight battery drops of up to 30%, even with Wi-Fi and data turned off, that's not just bad optimization, that's a serious bug. Now, some users tried clearing cache, some reset the device, and a few even disabled background sync for certain apps. But still, the problem persisted. And yes, I tried all those methods too. I cleared cache, reset app preferences, restricted background usage, you name it, nothing changed. The battery performance remained worse than before. The craziest part, when the One UI 7 update came out, this exact same story played out. For the first few weeks, the battery life tanked. Then Samsung silently rolled out a small patch and boom, 
the performance went back to normal. So it feels like we're reliving that cycle again. Now, I'm not saying One UI 8 is all bad. In fact, it's one of Samsung's most polished updates yet. The new animations look great, multitasking feels smoother, and the new lock screen options are awesome. But the battery drain issue is real and it's affecting the overall experience. Samsung needs to acknowledge this and fix it quickly, maybe with an optimization patch or a silent update. Until then, I'd suggest keeping an eye on your battery stats and avoiding unnecessary background sensing. Also, keep your always on display off for now. Trust me, it helps a bit. So that's been my honest seven day battery journey with the Galaxy S24 Ultra after installing One UI 8. And while some users are enjoying great performance, many like me are stuck watching their battery drain faster than ever. Hopefully Samsung rolls out a quick fix soon because right now the S24 Ultra feels powerful but thirsty. If you've noticed the same issue, drop your battery stats in the comments. I really want to compare results. Let's see how widespread this problem actually is. And if your phone's battery is fine after the update, you're one of the lucky ones. Either way, stay tuned because once Samsung pushes the next patch, I'll be testing it again and sharing the results right here. Until then, take care of your battery. Don't panic if it's draining a bit faster than usual and keep your phone updated, but with caution. Thanks for watching guys. Sam here, signing off. See you in the next one.